Hi Primary 2, so welcome back to your second maths lesson of the week and again today we are focusing on money. Remember this week we are learning to identify all the coins. So in Primary 1 we might just have focused on the coins up to maybe 20p. In Primary 2 you need to know all the coins. You need to be able to pick up any coin and recognise what it is. Okay, so we are going to do another little matching activity, similar to the matching activity I showed you yesterday with my coins and my post-it notes, and I matched each coin to the right label. I've made up another little matching activity. I could give you a worksheet like this, but actually, boys and girls, it's so much better if you make your own. Make your own activities because you've all, you've all got money in the house, I'm sure. Um, and the best way to learn about money is to play around with the coins. So I have all my coins blue tacked to my board here and I've got all the names of the coins, all the labels down this side here. So what we're going to do is identify the coin and then match it to the right label by just connecting it with a little line. Okay, so there is the first coin there. It's a silver coin. It's quite big. If you look at it compared to the, those top three there, it's quite large. Look at the shape of it too. What coin do you think that is? What did you think? I know this is 50p. So I'm going to just draw a line that connects this coin with this label that says 50p. Next coin. What do you think about that one? It's got some silver in the middle and some gold around the outside, a gold ring around the outside. I'll just go back a bit so you can see the size of it. What do you think? What's that coin called? So this coin here would be one pound. So I'm going to match it up to the label that says one pound. Notice that pound sign there. Next coin. Can you see the words there? Maybe if I turn it this way. Says one penny. That's a big clue, isn't it? It's a copper coin. That shiny brown colour, bronzy colour. What do you think? I'm sure, you all got that one. One P. Okay, look at that tiny coin. It's the smallest in size. Even smaller than one P. Can you see the words there? Five pence. Five pence it says on it. What's that called? You all know that one, don't you? That one is a 5p coin. So we've got 50p, one pound, one p, 5p. Still got these ones to do. Okay, next up, another silver one. It's not round, it's not a circle shape like the 5p. It's that unusual seven-sided shape again. What did you decide? What's this coin? 20p. So I can draw a line straight across to 20p. Okay, we're on to this coin here now. It's round. It's copper. Can you see that number at the bottom there? I know it's very dark. Can you tell it? Can you tell what it is? Hopefully you got that one. That coin is a 2p coin, so I match it to the 2p label. Okay, two more. Okay, a nice shiny silver one there. Nice and round. Can you see the words? I might have to turn the camera this way. Can you see those words there? To Eton. Big clue there. What's that coin? It says on it, doesn't it? It says to Eton. 10, 10 pence, 10p. So we'll match that to there. 
We've only got one label left, so I think we all know what this last coin is. I'll show you anyway. It's my favourite coin. What's that one there? It says it, doesn't it? It says on it. Okay, the last coin was of course a two pounds coin. Look at the pound sign. Two pounds coin. Okay, hopefully boys and girls, you can see that you can do an activity like that really, really easily um, just with a range of coins and a pencil or a whiteboard and a pen. Or you can use your post-it notes that you would have made yesterday, your little labels that you made yesterday. Um, okay, you'll need a whiteboard or a bit of paper for this next activity. I'm going to test you on how well you know your coins. Okay, so hopefully you have a selection of coins in front of you. Hopefully you've got a 1p, a 2p, a 5p, a 10p, a 20p, a 50p, a £1 and a £2. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to call out one of these coins. So I might say 50p and you are going to hold that coin up. Okay, are you ready? Can you show me 5p? Okay, very good. Here it is here. Check you've got it right. 5p. It's a very small one. I've got one here that's tiny. 5p. Okay, what about 10p? 10p. Super, here it is here on the screen. Here I've got one here. 10p, 10 pence. What about two pounds? Two pounds. I like these coins. Two pounds. Very good. Now I think my face is hiding half of that coin. Here I've got one here. It's the, the biggest sized coin and it's worth the most as well. Two pounds, two pound coin. Show me 1p. 1p. That's a nice easy one. You learned lots about 1p in primary one. There it is there on the screen. One penny. 1p. What about 50p? 50p. I like that one as well. 50p. Here it is here. It's that unusual shape. Seven curved sides. There it is there. Oh. <laughs> there it is there, 50p. Excellent boys and girls, well done. I can tell you're already more confident with these coins. Super. Okay, which coin am I pointing at? So hopefully you can see my little red laser here. It's going round and round in circles. Um, on your whiteboard or on a bit of paper, I would like you to write the coin that I am pointing at. Okay. So if I was pointing at a 1p, you would take your whiteboard or your bit of paper and write 1p. You can't see that. <laughs> I need to go this way. Easy. Okay. So. What is this coin? This coin. Now you can pause the video or just write it down quickly if you're super confident. What's that coin? Okay, hopefully you all had 10p, 10p. Give yourself a tick if you got it. Okay, next one. What is this coin? This one here. This one here, what's that? Write it down. Pause the video if you want. Okay. That one was one pound, one pound pound give yourself a tick if you got it look at that pound sign there it comes before the number the p sign the sign for penny comes after the number the sign for pound comes before it okay what's this one what's that coin there pause the video if you need a wee second to write it down okay that one was 
5p. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. 5p. And last one on this page. What's this one? What's that coin? Have a look at the coins in front of you, if that helps. That coin is 2p. Two pence. Give yourself a tick if you got it. Well done. Okay, we're on to some new coins here. Right, what's this one? Can you hear Lara squeaking in the background? She wants my attention. What's this coin? It is 20p. Give yourself a tick if you got it. 20 pence. 20p. We write it like that. What about this one? What's that coin there? We ready? Got that pound sign there. I'm not talking about pennies with that coin. We're talking about pounds and it's two pounds. It's a two pound coin. Two pounds. It's worth two pounds. What about this one? Very easy that one, I think. 1p. Give yourself a tick if you got it. 1p. And the last one, boys and girls. What's this coin here right at the end? What's that coin there? Write it down for me. Fifty P fifty P Give yourself a tick. Well done if you got most of those or all of those. Give yourself a pat on the back as well. Well done everybody. So another great activity you can do, boys and girls, to become really, really confident at recognising these coins is get a large amount of coins. So maybe if you've got a piggy bank at home empty out all those coins if you're allowed. I've got my purse here, so I'm just going to tip out in my purse and look and rich this week. Okay, and then sort those coins out. Okay, so I've got all my labels here from before, so I'm just reusing them. So there I've got a, where's the camera? A 5p, so I put that on the 5p label. There I've got a pound, one pound, so I put that on the one pound label, there's another pound, there's another pound, oh I'm really rich this week, that's good, 50p, that's up at the back there, 2p, where's my 2p label, oh it's way over there, don't think you can see that, 20p, that one's there, 1p, 20p, 1p, and you get the idea boys and girls, sort out all that big pile of coins as fast as you can that's a great way to become really confident at recognizing all the coins now if you're finding that a wee bit difficult because remember in primary one you were only asked to know the coins up to 20p and now i'm asking you to know all the coins up to two pounds if it's a wee bit difficult still you can sort the coins into other groups. So I've got some other labels here. I'm going to sort them into the kind of colour that they are. So I've got gold, I've got silver, I'll put that up there, and I've got copper, so that kind of bronzy brown colour. Okay, so this one, 1p is copper, copper, copper. I can't see that. Silver, silver, silver. The one pound coins and the two pound coins, they're silver and gold, but I'm just going to put them on the gold just now. They used to be all gold. See that with the two pound coin? Silver in the middle, but it's gold around the edge. So if it's got any gold, I'll put it in the gold category. Silver, silver, silver copper so you can sort them like that you can sort them by size you could sort them by shape and um, all these things will help you if you're if you're finding it a bit difficult if it's a bit too challenging just now to remember all the names of all the coins 
then just play about with sorting a big group of coins like this, a big pile of coins like that, into different groups, into different categories. That will really help you. So let's have a quick recap. Oh, you can't see that very well there against my brown worktop there, but that's the 1p. And we're going up, it's a bit bigger. 2p, 5p, it's tiny that little silver coin, isn't it? 10p, 20p, 50p, one pound, two pounds. So boys and girls, I need you to be really confident in naming and recognising all those coins there so that next week we can start to make amounts and maybe even look at giving change as well. So practice, practice, practice and be really, really confident at recognising all those coins. Okay, have a nice day everyone. Bye.